topic I'm going to discuss is concrete math experiences. In my classroom, I have four examples that I will explain. The first example is percentage. I set up my classroom to look like a restaurant. Tables are set up around the classroom with tablecloths, paper plates, and menus on each table. My students line up at the door and I welcome them in to the restaurant and ask them to take a seat. And I will come by to take their order. I jot down their order, and when we are finished role playing, we will discuss tax, how to find tax, tip, and how to calculate a discount using a coupon. The next activity or hands on experience is when I teach probability. I tell my students the first day to go ahead and play rock, paper, scissors. They are puzzled but I tell them to go ahead and play. The students tally the results and we discuss experimental and theoretical probability. The third activity is when I teach volume. They have fun activity related to popcorn. Later I will explain that more in depth. Now the last activity is when I teach circumference. We take a string to measure the circumference and the diameter. We do that to find pi. I will also discuss this more in depth later. Why is it important to have hands-on math experiences? Because typically math feels like you're being preached at. The teacher goes down the step-by-step -step processes and the students copy and just go through steps mindlessly. The students need to experience math by getting out of their seats. It is more fun. Another reason that they, ask, they ask themselves why it's important. They try to figure out the answers themselves. I don't tell them the answer. I let them figure it out for themselves. And it sets up the background knowledge for them. If they have never experienced figuring out tax and tip at a restaurant, they can experience it now in my classroom. It is important for them to establish this background knowledge. Remember I told you I would explain more in depth on how I set up my classroom activities? Let's go back to the third activity that focuses on volume. It's a fun and exciting activity. I love this activity. It's related to popcorn. When the students are finished, they are allowed to eat the popcorn. So first I tell the students they have to make a rectangular prism, and then they create a triangular prism. Once they have finished making both prisms, they will get the popcorn. They then have to fill up the triangular prism with popcorn and pour it into the rectangular prism. They have to figure out how many times it takes to fill up the rectangular prism using the triangular prism. They work together to try and figure out the solution, and the students notice that it takes two times to fill up the rectangular prism. The students start to make connections. Then we're able to discuss the volume formula. They notice the rectangular prism's formula is V equals B times W times H, meaning B as in base, W for width, and H for height. They start to make connections. Now they look at the formula for triangular prisms. V equals 1 half times B times W times H. They make the connection between filling up the rectangular prism using the triangular prism because it's actually half of the rectangular prism. The students figured it out themselves. They don't have to memorize the formula. The activity helps to develop a lasting connection. In the future, they will remember the formula from the experience. I mentioned circles before. When I teach this topic, I show them the formula first. I tell them that circumference is C equals diameter times pi. Then we use string for the students to measure the circumference of the circular table. 
We document the circumference on a projected chart. Then we measure the diameter. Next, we compare by setting up a ratio. Circumference divided by diameter equals pi. The answer is about 3.14, and the students confirm their understanding. Now I pass out the plates for a second experience, and they work together to measure their circumference and diameter. Again, we take the circumference and divide by the diameter. The answer is close to 3.14, so they figured out how to do it themselves, not by me telling them, they figured it out for themselves, with string and a fun activity. And I think this is very important for them to make these long-lasting connections.